Something terrible has begun to awaken within our museum. A something unsatisfied by mere exhibition or human study, writhing with ancient evil and terrible purpose. An entity that must, at all cost, be prevented access to our world. It's likely I will be branded as one unhinged for what I am about to do. From my studies, I am convinced such dangers are not new to the human experience. The very fact that humanity survives to this day, I attribute to our forebear success in resisting the tormented realities beyond our own. Regrettably, such is not easy study. Among the rarities I have been fortunate enough to uncover, one particular emblem seems significant. A symbol of purported resistive faculty and considerable power. They called it the Elder Sign. Elder Sign is a fast-paced cooperative game for one to eight players from the designers of Arkham Horror. Each player takes the role of one of 16 investigators racing against time to stave off the imminent return of a terrifying ancient one. Armed with powerful items, influential allies, and occult knowledge, investigators must put their sanity and stamina to the test as they explore an Arkham Museum in search of Elder Signs, the eldritch symbols used to seal away the Ancient One and win the game. But the clock is always ticking. With the approach of midnight, the Ancient One's arrival grows ever closer, and should it wake, all that we know will be cast into the eldritch abyss from which there is no return. To gather these all-important artifacts, players must successfully investigate the supernatural events and locations of the museum, which are represented by adventure cards. After selecting one of the eight Ancient Ones included in the game, draw six of the 48 possible adventure cards placing them face up in the central play area. The huge number of possible locations means investigators will seldom face the same set of mysteries twice. To resolve an adventure, players must match dice results against the requirements for all of the tasks on the adventure card. The active player first rolls his pool of custom six-sided dice. He then decides which of the card's tasks he'd like to complete using the results before moving on to the next task. But be careful. Dice placed to complete a task cannot be rolled again during the same adventure. So only through judicious use of resources can you master the museum's many challenges. In this example, Monterey Jack the archaeologist rolls six green dice and gets the following results. He compares this to the tasks on the active adventure card. With these results, the player may complete either task. He chooses the second task, placing the dice on top of the corresponding requirements. Note that even though the task only requires three investigation results, it was necessary for the investigator to use a total of four investigation results to meet the task's requirements. The extra investigation result is disregarded. Monterey Jack may then re-roll the remaining three green dice to try to complete the other task. If he fails a task, he must remove one die from his dice pool. If he cannot possibly complete any of the remaining tasks on the adventure card with the dice he can roll, he automatically fails to resolve the adventure card. Successfully completing an adventure can yield useful rewards, including clue tokens that may be spent to re-roll dice allies that offer a range of powerful effects, gates to sanity-bending other world locations, and even the potent Elder Signs, needed to prevent the imminent return of the Ancient One. But failure to complete all of the tasks may mean a loss of sanity or stamina, or both. Fortunately, Elder Signs' unique investigators bring a range of talents and resources to the search. Many investigators dedicate themselves to a specific research focus, allowing players to alter dice rolls or substitute one die result for another. Some focus on acquiring more resources, while others can restore sanity or stamina. Whatever their unique skills, these unlikely heroes must work together to stop the destruction of their world. 
To aid their explorations, investigators have access to items and spells that can afford extra dice during an adventure resolution. Clever use of investigators' talents and timely item use are crucial as players work to bend the luck of the dice roll in their favor. Players may also focus dice, saving one die result for a future roll at the cost of an extra die. Players can only focus a die once per adventure card, so focus is essential to the completion of more complicated adventures. There is no time to lose. The clock progresses inexorably forward, swallowing the hours until the great otherworldly horror emerges. Each time midnight strikes, there is a chance the Ancient One's power will spill more fully into this world. Monsters may appear, and the Doom Track may progress. If the investigators fail to seal away the Ancient One before it awakes, they will find themselves forced into combat, directly confronted by the awesome power of an ancient god. Immerse yourself in eldritch mysteries. Fight against unspeakable horrors and stop the Ancient Ones from reducing humanity to sinners. I go now to face that which stirs in slumber, retaining little hope of surviving the hours ahead. Even if my body should persist, I fear most for the sanctity of the mind, for it is not the ken of mortals to observe or meddle with such matters. Even if one must do so.